Hi families, I have another story for you guys this week. It's one of my favorites. Hola familias, yo tengo un otro historia, uh, libro para ustedes. Es um, un favorito conmigo. It's the Rainbow Fish. And I have it in English and Spanish. So if you would like to listen to it in Spanish, I can do another recording of me reading it. But today I'm just going to read it in English. Um, yo tengo en español también. Y quieres escuchar los parábolas, la libro en español. Español, por favor, me dicen. Y yo mandar un otro video con yo leer en español. Pero hoy solamente en inglés. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pisfer. The Rainbow Fish. Far, far away in the open sea lived a fish, but he wasn't a normal fish. No, no, he was the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His suit of scales sparkled in the colors of a rainbow. The other fish admired his colorful, sparkle suit of scales. They called him Rainbow Fish. Hey, Rainbow Fish, come and play with us. But Rainbow Fish just glided past them, silent and proud, letting his scales glitter. A little blue fish along, swam along behind him. Rainbow fish, rainbow fish, wait for me. Won't you give me one of your glitter scales? They are so beautiful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my scales? You must be kidding, rainbow fish cried. Get out of here. Startled, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset and told his friends about the encounter. After that, no one wanted to play or have anything to do with Rainbow Fish. They swam away whenever he came near. What good is it to have beautiful glitter scales when no when there's no one around to admire them? Rainbow Fish thought to himself, and now he was one of the loneliest fish in the whole ocean. One day, he complained bitterly to a starfish, I'm beautiful, so how come no one likes me? The wise octopus lives in the cave behind the coral reef. Maybe he can help you, the starfish suggested. Rainbow Fish found the cave. It was dark and a little frightening. He could hardly see anything. He suddenly, he saw two eyes shining back at him. I was expecting you, said the octopus in a deep voice. The waves brought me your story. Listen to my advice. Give each fish one of your glitter scales. Then you will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will be happy again. Before Rainbow Fish could object, Octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my pretty glitter scales? The rainbow fish said appalled, never, no, how could I be happy without them? Just then, he felt a light stroke of a fin nearby. The little blue fish had come back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. Won't you give me just one glitter scale? Rainbow fish hesitated. I guess I won't really miss just one teeny, tiny, little glitter scale, he thought. K, 
carefully Rainbow Fish plucked the smallest glitter scale from his suit. Here, you can have this one, but leave me alone now. Thank you so much, bubbled the little blue fish with excitement. You're so kind, Rainbow Fish. Rainbow Fish suddenly felt very strange. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish joyfully swim away, back and forth through the water, carrying his glitter scale. The little blue fish darted through the water with his glitter scale. It didn't last long before Rainbow Fish was surrounded by all the other fish. Everyone wanted a glitter scale. And what do you know? Rainbow Fish darted, handing out his scales one after another, and he was be he was feeling happier with each gift. The more sparkly the water became, the more he um, enjoyed being among the fish. In the end, Rainbow Fish had only one single glitter scale left. He had given away all the others. And he was happy, happier than he'd ever been. Come, Rainbow Fish, come and play with us, the others called out. I'm coming, Rainbow Fish replied, and he went off with the other fish. The end.